morning, everybody. Hope you're all well. Me and Matt are up. Oh. Half up, half so <laughs> sleep. Um, <laughs> what we're going to do, where I am now, is a place called Puck Pool Battery. And it's huge. So we're going to go around this now and um, give you a little, load, a little uh, look at this and that. There's a little bunkers and buildings everywhere, isn't there? There's one just behind the back of here, and it's got a gap in it about that much. I think I can squeeze under the gate and get in. And have a look. Oh, that yeah. There might be more of them as well. We can have a look at. So I'm going to, I'm going to take you around here now and show you this. Show you the history board down there because there's just too much history on it. Um, it was actually built, for, built to defeat the French. I thought it might have been the Second World War, World War. It was taken over for them. But it was Unless built. the French was after, wasn't it? No, before. Stop the fact that, yeah, the French were available. The French were available, but, yeah. Um, yeah, so I reckon, and I bet you that they took it out of the, uh, you know, the, the army took it over after that, probably. Yeah. That's not down there, the Royal yeah. Artillery Corps had it in like in there. But they used it for World War II and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to show you any of this bit here just yet, because we've got to go down to the beginning bit, haven't we, and work back this way. Yes. And I'm going to go. The drone and stuff. I'm going to put the drone up as well when I get the chance in a minute. If the battery lets me, I should have enough on one of them. I'll just give you an aerial shot. Over there, that's just been over now. You this loads of little empty buildings. That's that's actually the barracks itself. That's massive. So we see if we can try and get in that as well. Go around them. Them buildings there, are they sealed up? <coughs> what? Let everybody want to go and give it a go. There's the Harris fence and fence in there. There's all sorts of buildings behind the back. That's it. So let's get on with this then. This is quite a big place. Right, hello everybody. Voice over time. Puckpool Battery is a battery located at P Puckpool Point, close to the town of Ryde on the Isle of Wight. One of the many Palmerston forts which were built on the island to protect in response to a perceived French invasion. Construction of the battery began in 1839 and completed by March 1865. During the construction of the battery, it was decided that it would be armed entirely with 50 of the heaviest mortars at the time, 13-inch spore bull mortar. This would enable the battery to provide large amounts of high-angle plunging fire into the solar targets at the venerable unarmed decks of warships. In 1873, the gun's positions were constructed at the sea face of the battery with four 12-inch rifled muzzle-loading RML guns. By 1886, these four guns and 30 mortars were provided the entire armament of the battery. The following year, all the mortars were removed and they were obsolete at the time. In 1901, the armament of the battery was modernised with two positions for two 9.2-inch breech-loading guns and two 16-inch breech-loading guns. The battery was disarmed in 1927 and sold to the local district council the following year. It was brought back to use during the Second World War as HMS Medina to train men of the fleet air arm. It's been used as a public recreation space up until the present day and has since been designated a scheduled ancient monument. The gun positions are openly accessible and there are a number of original buildings surviving. These include the guard room, the barracks block and the magazines and of course the underground bunker that I found but we'll say no more about that. <coughs> so there would have been a big gun here, put it out that way, which is looking out over the solar. This was actually built to protect us against the French. There's a solar there. Yeah, to protect us against the French. This one, oh! You had lots of different size uh, guns. The one that was up there at the top where I was on the, the intro it was a 9mm, not 9mm, I think I just think it's set or something. I'll have a look when I go up. Let's have a look up here. I think, see, there's another big one. A biggish one, it would have been. Probably one of the smaller guns on here because there's three emplacements where you can tell the guns would have been massive. A roller with a with a gun with a sat. Now these these rings here, when we were up at the needles yesterday, the fella said that's what you, that's what they used to tie the gun to. There's one there as well. When they fire the gun and it roll, rolls back. 
they actually protect it from um, rolling back on itself. Yeah. Right. There's a little tiny one down here, I can get into it with a bit of luck. It's like it's like gap. We're all behind the back of there. Matt's just done his video. There's a, there's a hole in the fence if I feel that I can get under it. There's also the little buildings in there which used to be the billets. I want to have a look at that as well. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Gee, it's dark in there. So it isn't even working. Right, let's go up this way. Quarter uh, past seven in the morning. And we're at it. Wait. Now this one here, it's just a big field. With the the tops of the gun emplacements, so the guns would have been sticking out this way. There's three of them, and a little one at the end, which is the fourth one, but they're not as big as these. I won't show you them at the minute because we're, we're actually going to go in them. There's one here, one there, and the third one's going to do me intro inside it. We'll go around and show you that because up, up, up the top here, there's nothing else, just them concrete bits. Now, if you think of the guns, they've been pointing out. Them trees wouldn't have been there. And over here, have you ever seen the soles? You've got them two big forts that are sitting there. We will actually level with them, sort of thing. More protection. So, makes you think, don't it? Just wonder how far that goes under. Yeah, this part of the camp there, but it goes right back. I mean, it's huge. Absolutely massive. I was speaking to a fellow about it yesterday, he said it was a good square mile. You gotta watch which way you're going because there's just so many ups, ups and downs. And you've got like, I don't know what this was. Maybe a mess room or something like that. It's got, I see. Oh, look at that, you see it. It's just a room. Go on into that. We'll just stand in the room. In there. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's this? Well, somewhere for storing bins now. I'm guessing that would have been a boiler room. Ain't it actually a couch in there? <laughs> it's actually a couch, isn't there? <laughs> Just in this one then. Tiles and that on the wall, so this could have been the kitchen. He's right, there's like a workbench there. Like that side. Yeah, it's been a kitchen. So that would have been, isn't it, isn't it, they call it the naffy, don't they? Is it, or something like that? That's just a little room, a bit of um, shelves on it. Yeah. Right, let's go up here in a minute because I did, I did see this. I'm guessing this would have been the original one around for the soup, so you have to get from one to the other. See, there's one at the where we are now, there's one there as well. Exactly the same. There would have been another gun here. He's got the wings as well again. I said just on a battery change everybody because the battery added is one of me uh, old batteries it doesn't last very long no longer. So brand new battery in it. When you get your battery to your camera. 
I've got one there, it's not as good as the other two. When you have them for a while charging them, and then you go down, charge them, and one down. They deplete, they don't charge up enough in the end, so you have to keep replacing them. That black one, I've just done exactly that. That's the one I'm just using the intros at the beginning of the video, before I put a new battery in it. Little room thingy. And then just here the big one. See the way they these thingies are on the floor, they would have been for the legs. You bolt them in. Over there. Fell over that one. But look at this, see the way it's No, look at that. Do you know what that would have been, don't you? That would have been with the ammo would have come along. So, they've blocked it off at the end. Well, yeah, ammo would have come along here. The, uh, the weapons. And then, gone along here. And I'm guessing they, would, guessing they would have been some type of mechanism to lift them up into the gun. You can see with a turn. It's a full axis that though, isn't it? You know, I really want to aim it that way. I don't know. Yeah. So let's go to Oh down there. Well that's actually one of the um one of the big guns, if you like, there's three of them. This would have been one of them. I felt loose. So that goes in and under. How the hell did you get back down? I'm guessing as well, everybody, them there, they've had doors on them. You can see that, the, the metal thingies. I'm guessing that's where all the bombs would have been stored, all piled up there. See, there's, there's the end that's that bricked up eh? for the mechanism. So they, the lads would have put the bombs on here, onto the mechanism, sent it along and into the gun. Yeah, underneath. I go over here. You can see where it's been picked up there. Obviously that that glass would have been a lot lower. But you can see where it would have been put through. There. Yeah, uh, even the locals are talking about it. I know I've got my ass on but it's a little bit cool. Today, um, it's gonna be hot. Not warm, hot. So see there's that bit there and dig it up as well. Yeah, but we're going to do that now. We don't have to come back. Look at that, though. Now you've got to step over this. Oh, Jesus. I'll take my hat off now. There's a lot of a few lads knocking around up here last night. This is not another gun replacement, is it? I don't know, I'll look out. There's no door under there, it's just a strange shape, isn't it? Do you know fall? Yeah. Right? It's round, isn't it? So I'm guessing there would have been something there. Maybe a machine gun or something like that. AA, AA gun, possibly. But look at this though, look how um, spooky this is. It, we were come down here last night. Uh, it is jet black. And a door. It's got 12 in it, look at that. I will be here. Uh, this is where I've done the intro before for you. <sighs> yeah, this is very, very before when I've done the intro. Been a big gun there. 
you see the hooks again? One, two, three, four. These platforms, I don't know what they were for. If anybody knows what they are for, you had a comment in the description below. I don't think they joined up, although, if you look, uh, that, that, and that, they're in line with this one, so I'm guessing this would have come right round in a big circle, connected to that. Maybe they worked their way up there, maybe the gun was higher up, well it was higher up obviously, so the legs sat. And it would have sat that up with the gun putting out. And that's been connected to some, some point right now. Yeah. There's a there. <laughs> He's waiting for the cafe to open. Right, let's go down here then. Uh, you can open a big door, aren't you? Can you? This is the big field. See over there? You see? You see Portsmouth. That's it there. Portsmouth. So there's the... So this is the top of them. See the one over there and a little one bit further on. See? I see just there. You've got like a wooden walkway, part of it's still there. All good. Alright, let's keep going. There's a plaque there just spotted, let's see how we get out for it. I can see it. Something Pope Pool Battery, St. Helens Urban District Council. And find uh, a former open for public use Puck Pool Park on June the 20th, 1929. Uh, this tablet was laid blah 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 by all the councillors' names there and all that. That's all that is. Here's the door. More old buildings over there. Let's go and see that. Where the coffee called the old barracks. Another old building, so that might have been. Because this is the main gates, so. I guess that would have been like. We have to report in on that. Ah. These might have been like um, the officers' houses or something like that. The window open there, look at that. I'll have a look when I get home. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, I guess the officers might have lived in this one. It's completely boarded up. Let's have a look there. See this one? Hey, look at that. Oh, I love that was here. I get up there. And have a look. Let's see if I can extend it for you. Give me one sec. Maybe surrounded by bush. I see what that means about getting in. Uh, 
Look at that one, I can tell them we engulfed in undergrowth. Ah, oh, yeah, there's also the little buildings in there. Look at that. <coughs> I'm guessing this place is going to be shocker today. Lad, there's a hole in the fence over there, you know. Hole in the fence. Just there. Where, where did you see that other hole? Where did you see the hole in the fence? No, only started there. Oh, did you? There's one over there. You can see all the old buildings, all the old barracks. Right, let's set this away in here. Well, the battery. Right, and. Oh, yeah, there's a big mound of rubble there. They must be pulling the die. Right? Yeah. I wonder if it was ever turned into a holiday, a holiday camp afterwards. No. <sighs> See how small the door is? Or maybe you stepped down into it and then went in. Yeah, you did, look. The board at the bottom. Anyway, yeah, I just, I just spotted the entrance that map means, but... Get under it easy enough, no, no problem, but I might have a better way. I'm gonna go in and have a look at these little buildings. Just see what we get. We just know I'm behind him. <laughs> He's looking now, thinking, is anybody watching me? He's thinking, no. Oh, I'm in my element. This is so good. <laughs> How are you hear me? I know, I've just recorded you. <laughs> you can stay there then tonight, I'll have to tent on my own. I'm Why is everybody have found a way into the barracks? It's all the gold. Jesus, look at that! <laughs>